Hello and welcome. My name is Sebonga Ngobo and I am Ibuto Equities Forex Trading Coach. In today's session, um, the markets have been uh, following uh, yesterday's uh, common trail, but my focus for today's session I just want to go over two charts today, uh, especially gold and the uh, Canadian dollar. So, start off just to start uh, things um, with how gold is performing. The bearish momentum on gold uh, is still on the downside, but something interesting is forming on 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 the gold now one of my favorite things to do is actually to draw lines and trend lines because uh, particularly personally drawing trend lines allows a, a, a trader to see the bounces in price to see if there's any recurring patterns around these trend lines and and channels so particularly with what has been happening all right here as you can see this zone has been a, 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 a very critical a critical point in the market because here you've got two things happening here it's the support the support level right so the market has been establishing some sort of minor support zone here and yesterday we've had a break of the support and then the market now this actually turns into the near term uh, the near term resistance in the market so the resistance zone right being here the near term so we've had a break and the market has been trying to bounce possibly could continue uh, 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 today in the day for the market to maybe break through and maybe continue to find some sort of support and to continue to rally higher that is the case for the bulls that's uh, what the bulls are expecting and would really like to see to happen but with the trend being so strong and and and, and uh, pushing lower we could we could see the market you know just testing uh, this near-term resistance you know, and following through and the market following through lower so currently I'm on hold on gold but if I had to really 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 pick a trade I would be a bear right now in gold but the interesting thing as well with gold is when you look at the high time frame and you go on the weekly chart now on the weekly chart as you can see right now with these two lines this is now a descending wedge pattern currently this week we've broken through the wedge indicating a signal of strength that the market is moving lower and as a bear if i were a bear and taking this trade you know because one of the strongest things i rely on are price action signals you know, and moving on to lower time frame to take execution so the bearishness is still on and we could see prices moving lower and testing this near term uh, support level down here you not know, possibly at you know at around 1177 we could see prices moving down there so long term bears are looking for for any mean you know to get shorts and you know, this is one of the reasons in the higher time frame and that is what I wanted to mention because we are having uh, a, a descending wedge pattern and it's 
breaking through this the the trend line you know, to for the market you know maybe testing the this near term uh, 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 support on a on a high time frame so the momentum is on the downside and there isn't strong signs that the market you know, is you know fighting to reverse so the bears are in control now the next analysis that I want to go through is the Canadian dollar. Now, with the Canadian dollar, there. Now, the interesting thing with the Canadian dollar is that uh, yesterday on this on this uh, bullish bar. And this bar is pretty large, uh, and it has closed above, you know, above the day. So we could see price continuing higher. That is that is pr highly probable. Uh, today this is Friday, and up till next week, you could see prices moving higher because we had a two-bar reversal here, right there. So. Any moves higher are probable, or we could have a pullback, which is unlikely for the market to pull back back down here and to create a triple bottom. You know, for the market to continue to rally higher. But on the on the short side, we could see continuation of momentum for the move higher in the market, because the anticipation of 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 my previous analysis was for for the markets you know just because of this price action pin bar which formed at a very significant level that we could have had market you know uh, trending lower and testing probably the exponential moving average but it seemed to have you know found support here and created a double bottom you know for the market to continue to rally higher and we could see higher prices you know, on 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 the Canadian dollar, so that are the signs that the, the bulls are looking for. They're looking for any means, you know, to take prices high, and they are currently are in control. And the bears, in in in, in the meantime, are are neutral or trying to minimize the risk as much as possible. So right now, what bears are actually doing in 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 this case they are looking to minimize the risk and one of the element that bears uh, could take for them to actually uh, do that is to find an ultimate you know, uh, stop loss zone which is roughly about there so what bears are actually doing is wherever the the market is closing like here you would have had bears entering in so what they're doing is they are they are scaling in you know, with the assumption that the markets will rotate lower and the latest entry or the last trade uh, makes up uh, 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 makes up the losses that, that they have incurred with taking this signal so you'd probably have if you had bears entering here and then they had the ultimate stop level roughly up there where I draw this uh, crooked red line. You could see them trying to enter at every possible level, entering at the close of this bull bar. Maybe in the day they could, if the market continues this Friday, uh, continues higher, or maybe stops around here, you could find uh, bears entering again short there. And ultimately taking the maybe a possible final short position uh, there for the hope that the market you know rotate lower so there's various ways and different methods uh, that as a trader you can apply but generally large institutions do this you know to minimize risk because institutions their objective is they are always two-sided they enter in no matter how the market is whether uh, they they're looking for any reason to take trades. 
they are long in any given situation they are short in any given situations they use multiple time frames but as a beginner trader uh, that is something i will not advise because it takes experience and 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 a lot of screen time to build that competency in order for you to do that and actually come out profitable because as a novice trader if you were to actually do that and enter on every bull close of of, of the bar if you are focusing on the daily time frame one of the problems will be you could possibly you know, blow your account out while as these large institutions uh, what they can do is they have vast tons and tons and tons and tons of investor money but on my next upcoming videos what i just want to talk about is uh, the general structure of the market uh, to just help in terms of what approach or what mindset that as a trader you should take and you know the significance of that you know and how that could actually enhance and help your trading and to help for you to stay focused i hope this analysis helped and if you are interested in taking part in the course feel free to find that to find us on our facebook page um, details will be on the description and yeah happy trading god bless